Hey everyone, this is SAT Practice Lines, Angles, Triangles, Medium, and uh, it's given the area of a triangle of DEF as 32 uh, square root of 3 square units. They want to uh, know the length of DF, so they want to know the length of this. And if you know, okay, so first of all, when you do these, again, try to do these, pause the video, and then... Um, that way you can get through quicker because a lot of these aren't that hard. They're just the medium. You notice this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So you want to uh, jot down the special uh, right triangle formulas for this. Or formulas. This is going to be x. x square root of 3 and 2x. So basically we just want x. We know that the area of DEF is 32 square root of 3. So, um, because the triangle is a right triangle, the base and the height are the two lengths of the legs. So, we're going to um, call this X the side across from 30 is X, and the side across from 60 here is X square root of 3. So, we're going to substitute these in the formula of the triangle. So, you get A equals 1 half base times height, Oops. so area equals, um, no, their area is what? Our area is 32 square root of 3 equals 1 half base, we'll call that x, and the height is x square root of 3. So this gives us 32 square root of 3 equals 1 half x squared square root of 3. Now to solve this equation we're going to divide both sides by the radical and then multiply both sides by 2. So if we divide everything by square root of 3 they just cancel and you multiply both sides by 2 you get 64 equals x squared so x equals um, plus or minus 8 but we we don't take the negative so it's just x equals 8, um, so which is the length of the shortest leg, df, all right? And so uh, that makes our answer A correct. Okay, the next set and the next problem is trying to find the area, and um, we're going to treat the variable lengths as you would number length. So the area is given by a equals one half base times height. So before we can use area formula, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the lengths of the base and the height of um, so two x and x. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem first and get x squared plus two x squared equals ten squared. So we get x squared plus 4x squared equals 100. So 5x squared equals 100. So x squared equals uh, 20. So x, and we're just going to go ahead and take it as positive because we're dealing with lengths. It's going to be a uh, square root of 20, which equals square root of 4 times 5, which equals 2 square root of 5. So if x is square root of, uh, it goes here, that's going to be 2 square root of 5. And this is 2 times that, which is, is going to be 4 square root of 5. So now we have all the lengths, and we can just use our formula here. So we have area equals 1 half base, which is going to be 2 square root of 5. doesn't matter what order you put this in. And the other one's going to be 4 square root of 5. And this is going to be area equals 1 half of 2 is just 1. So we have 4 times square root of 5 squared. So area is just going to be 4 times 5, which equals 20, which matches D. The next one, uh, we have this figure here. And um, whenever you're given a figure, transfer as much information as possible from the question to the figure. So um, basically, BD 
um, equals BC. So that means um, these two sides equal. This means it's an isosceles right triangle. So this would be 45 degrees. And this is 45 degrees. And you're told that both um, uh, legs measure 6. That's another hint. So this would be 6 and this would be 6. So what we want to do is um, um, know that if this is X, remember on an isosceles you have X, X, 2X. So, uh, no, it's a square root of, um, it's going to be x square root of 2. So the side across from here is just going to be 6 square root of 2. The side across from the 90. That's the hypotenuse, that part right there. So, we also know that AD equals 2CD. So, um, AD um, equals 2 times 6 um, square root of 2, which is 12 square root of 2. Now we're going to use the Pythagorean Theorem, which is AB squared equals BD squared plus AD squared. So we get um, this equals 6 squared plus 12 square root of 2 squared um, so this equals 36 plus 144 times 2. And you do all that, and you're going to get 324 equals your AB squared. So AB equals the square root of 324, which equals 18, which makes D the correct choice. Okay, the next one is here. We have a triangle here that's graphed on a standard coordinate plane. What's the perimeter? So we're going to go ahead and draw a quick sketch of this. We have one, four, one, two, three, four is right here. Uh, one, seven, one, so four, five, six, seven goes here, and four, four. So this is four, one, two, three, four. So let's just draw a quick sketch of that. See what it looks like. All right. And they want to know the perimeter of this. So basically, if you want, you can just count it, count it. Um, we know the length of this is three. So, you know, the length is one, two, actually four. And the length of this is 1, 2, 3. So um, this, therefore, has to be... Um, so it's 4 and 5. This means it's the right triangle. This is 4. Why is this one? Um, just a minute. I knew I did something wrong. So basically this should have gone up to here. So when you sketch these, make sure you sketch it right. So basically, um, this was too easy if it was what we had because it would just have been uh, 3, 4, 5. So these are both 3. So now we just have to find this side, and we're going to use the Pythagorean Theorem. So, or we can just use this as uh, 45, 45. We know this is going to be... Um, x square root of 2, which is 3 square root of 2. So just add this up. You get 3 plus 3 plus 3 square root of 2, which equals 6 plus 3 square root of 2. And that gives us C. All right. And the last one um, says, what is the area of an isosceles right triangle with a hypotenuse of 2? So basically... I'm going to just uh, draw it very quickly without a graph. So these two sides are the same. This is 2. So basically what you can do is know that this equals x square root of 2. These are 45s, right? It's isosceles right triangle. 
So basically just solve for x. So x that 2 equals x square root of 2. So x equals 2 over square root of 2. And we're just going to go ahead and leave it like that and not rationalize it because of doesn't require this. This is a gridable also. So we want the area. The area equals one half base times height. So area equals one half two over square root of two times two over square root of two, which equals four over four, which equals one. So that's what you would grid in one. Okay, the next set we're going to do is the hard set. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.